Act 5, Scene 1, page number 137. In the previous video, we had completed the explanation up to line number 55. Now we have to continue after that. Lorenzo said, Sweet soul, let's in, and there expect their coming. And yet, no matter, why should we go in? So now here, what Lorenzo said to Jessica, that dear Jessica, sweet soul, that means dear Jessica, let us go in and wait for their arrival. Now about whose arrival they are talking? About Portia and about Bassanio because they have got the news that they both will be here before the morning. Okay, Launcelot came, he gave message about Bassanio and Stefano came who gave message about Portia. Then and there expect their coming and yet no matter why should we go in and then Lorenzo said to Jessica that however it does not matter why should we go in after this my friend Stefano signify I pray you within the house your mistress is at hand and bring your music forth into the air so after this Lorenzo said to Stefano that my friend Stefano I request you to tell everyone in the house that your mistress Portia will arrive soon and they have to prepare for her welcome. Then come back and play some music in the open air. Then Stefano left the place and Lorenzo said to Jessica how sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this ba bank. Here will we sit and let the sounds of music creep in our ears. Soft stillness and the night become the touches of sweet harmony. Now what does it mean from line number 61? That how sweet the moonlight sleeps upon this bank. So. Here Lorenzo said to Jessica that how pleasantly the moonlight falls on this slope. Okay, let us sit Jessica, let music gently enter our ears. The silence of the night provides a good background for soothing music. Okay. So there is given that sit Jessica that is let us sit here Jessica and you look how the floor of heaven is thick inlaid with the patterns of bright gold. There is not the smallest orb which thou beholdest but in his motion like an angel sings. Then Lorenzo said to Jessica that the silence of the night provides a good background for soothing music. Look Jessica how the skies above us resemble a lovely floor decorated with plates of bright gold. So patines is given that means patterns means plates of bright gold. So here he has compared Lorenzo has compared as uh, the sky was filled with the stars so he has compared the sky at the present time with the a plate full of gold coins and then he said but in his motion like an angel sings there is not okay from line number 67 there is not the smallest orb which thou beholdest but in his motion like an angel sings still quivering to the young eyed cherubins such harmony is in immortal souls but while this muddy vesture of decay does grossly close it in we cannot hear it now here Lorenzo said that look Jessica how the skies above us resemble a lovely floor decorated with plate of bright gold and even the smallest planet orb is given orb means or planet that even the smallest planet that you see is moving now and is producing music as sweet as an angel's song as it travels through the sky 
द स्टार्स आर सिंगिंग एज अ खोयर टू द ब्राइट आइड एंजल्स अ सिमिलर हारमोनी इज इन द इमोटल ह्यूमन सोल ओके नाउ वॉट इज गिवेन हेयर यू कैन लिसन वंस अगेन सो हेयर Lorenzo tells Jessica that at the present time also each and every planet that is present in the sky that is in motion and as it is in motion as it is moving so it makes the peculiar type of sound you can look here point number 68 on the other side it is given that elizabethans believed that every star or planet produced it's in its motion a peculiar music note and the combination of all notes composed the grand harmony of the universe the angels are said to be listening to the music of the stars then after this line number 71 but while this muddy vesture of decay does crossly close it in we cannot hear it so finally lorenzo tells jessica that a similar harmony in the immortal human soul is produced but while the human body is in its perishable form we cannot hear the heavenly music okay then enter musicians now meanwhile musicians entered into the scene and lorenzo say to them that come ho and wake diana with a hymn with sweetest touches pierce your mistress ear and draw her home with music then after this what he tells lorenzo he says to musicians that come now and sing a hymn to awaken diana the goddess of the moon now who is diana diana is the goddess of moon this had come earlier also so uh, you come and play music so beautifully that it may awake diana the goddess of the moon let your sweet music reach the ears of your mistress portia and lure her home with it okay now after this musicians started playing music then jessica said i am never merry when i hear sweet music so jessica said to lorenzo that whenever i hear sweet music i feel sad i don't feel happy then lorenzo tells her lorenzo speaks to jessica now this speech is very important children lorenzo's speech so listen it very carefully Now Lorenzo says to Jessica that the reason is your spirits are attentive. Now in this uh, extract, Lorenzo tells Jessica that why you don't feel happy or why you feel sad when you listen to the music. So he gives the reason that the reason is your spirits are attentive. That your spirits are attentive. It is receptive at that time. for do but note a wild and wanton herd or race of youthful and unhandled colts fetching mad bounds bellowing and neighing loud which is the hot condition of their blood if they but hear perchance a trumpet sound or any air of music touch their ears you shall perceive them make a mutual stand their savage eyes turned to a modest gaze by the sweet power of music therefore the poet did feign that ophius drew trees stones and floods since not so stockish hard and full of rage but music for the time does change his nature now what does it mean quite a long extract that for do but note a wild and wanton herd so lorenzo tells jessica that you don't feel happy because your senses are so attentive to music that you are lost completely in it and then you may note that a wild and untamed herd or a breed of young untrained horses 
jump about madly and make a loud sound for this this is natural due to their wild blood however if they happen to hear the sound of a bugle or if some notes of music fall on their ears they all stand still and remain quiet listening to it their wild eyes become calm due to the influence of the sweet music now here once again i'll tell you what is given that in this speech lorenzo tells jessica that why you don't feel happy when you listen to the music and what he says that at the time when you listen to the music your senses your spirits are very much attentive to music and it is that much attentive that you are completely lost in it and uh, then after this lorenzo gives example to jessica about the wild animals behavior and about the untrained uh, young horses or the herd untamed herd and what he tells he tells that you can think about or you can just note about their behavior behavior that how do they behave that they behave in the wild manner they jump about madly and make a loud sound and this is natural due to their wild blood so however if they happen to hear the sound of any music then they all stand still and remain quiet listening to it so their wild eyes become calm due to the influence of the sweet music so he wants to tell that that much power music has that it can uh, make attentive to anyone and the person or an animal can get lost into it then after this he says from here line number this 85 you shall perceive them make a mutual stand their savage eyes turned to a modest gaze by the sweet power of music therefore the poet did feign that obvious drew trees stones and floods since not so stockish hard and full of rage but music for the time does change his nature then lorenzo says therefore poet ovid narrated how the musician orpheus made trees stones and rivers move from place to place by the power of his music for nothing in the world is so insensible unyielding or fears that music does not change at least for some time then he says the man that has no music in himself not is not moved with concord of sweet music sounds is fit for treasons straight gems and spoils the motions of his spirit are dull as night and his affections dark as erebus let no such man be trusted mark the music then here lorenzo said that the man who does not love music or who is not affected by its melody is only fit for treachery interview and ruin that is destruction his thoughts are as dark as night and his emotions are as dark as hell let no such man be trusted listen to the music mark to the music that means listen to the music then after this meanwhile into the scene poshia and narisa enter poshia says that light we see is burning in my hall how far that light little candle throws his beams so shines a good deed in a naughty world now here poshia said to narisa as she entered that we see the light burning in my own house how far light from a little candle shines at night thus shines a good deed is 
in this big wicked world okay now what she has done that is she compares the candlelight which was uh, lit in her home and they were able to see from so far so she compares that with the good deed good work that the sh uh, good deed shines in this big wicked world then narissa says when the moon shone we did not see the candle then what narissa said that when the moon shines we do not see the rays of the candles now we stop here and in the next video we shall continue from page number 140